Hey everyone, how are you? Kara Medeiros here, founder of The Makeup Nerds, and let's turn this up, turn this on, um, creator of a kick-ass lifestyle blog over at karamedeiros.com. So today I wanted to give you, I wanted to share with you something that I have been doing for a while that has been working for me, has been, um, it, it's, it's freaking amazing. You know that I kind of teach about, not teach, I share uh, manifesting and goals and dreams and kind of how to make that happen. So every, usually once or twice a month, I will come on and I will tell you it's a new moon, it's a full moon, and you know how you're going to manifest those dreams or whatever it is. I'm just sharing things that work for me. And um, I've been so obsessed with energies and um, it's, uh, it's, blows my mind. It blows my mind. So I wanted to share something that I have been doing that um, is so easy to start and that maybe you could, you could, I, I want you to try it. I want you to try it. It's going to, it's doing no harm what to you, to you whatsoever. And it has been working for me for a while. So what's going on everyone? Good morning, Laura. Hi, As Aisling. Hey, Fran. What's going on, Sanchez? Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly share this just to my personal wall because I believe I'm on my business page, which is so confusing now because I was able to change my name from the Makeup Nerds to my name because I don't talk about just makeup anymore, right? So I thought, oops, I thought that changing my name would kind of maybe um, bring it all kind of together. All right, so let me just, now I just get confused when I'm going to share it because my personal wall is Karen Melko Medeiros. All right, done. So that is, is it shared? Let me just share it to my community group, the Makeup Nerds. All right, oh, turn this off, turn this off. How do I turn it off? Sorry. <laughs> okay, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing. I hate technology. Dude, I'm not calling you Dirty Sanchez on, on video like I just did. <laughs> okay, so um, first things first, share this video, bottom left-hand corner, click the share button, and make sure you comment shared below, and you'll be entered in to win the Kate Spade bracelet. It's a really, really pretty gold, pretty rose gold bracelet, super cute. We're giving it away this Friday. So that's all you gotta do to be entered. Plus, you know what? Somebody may need this in their life. Honestly, somebody may need this in their life, so share it. Even if you don't need it, share it. Somebody else does. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you um, how to write a life gratitude story. So here's what you're gonna need. You need a notebook. You don't even need a notebook, you need paper. You need a pen and a paper. I chose this little notebook that I got at the, did I get this at the dollar store? No, I think I got it at Chapters or Indigo or something, but I know that they actually sell these at the dollar store. It's like super thin. So all you need is pen and paper. I would get probably, if you can, just a little notebook. I mean, I got these little notebooks from the dollar store. I mean, they weren't a dollar, but from the dollar store. So just grab a really simple, plain notebook, okay? So I want you to grab a notebook and I want you to write your life gratitude story. So what is a life gratitude story? A life gratitude story is you writing a story, is writing your story just out, literally just writing your story out. So exactly how you want, thanks for sharing Patricia, exactly how you want your life to look like. So in this book, I think I have about 15 pages written. I took about 20 minutes or so and I, had no idea kind of, I, I have an idea how I want my life to be, where I wanna be with my family and business and certain things, but when I, when I started to write, it literally just, it literally just all came out. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that I really wanted that, but I wrote it down. So I'm going to tell, I'm gonna get your pen ready or pause it if you're watching the replay, so you can write these subjects down and it's gonna, it's going to make it easier for you how to write your life gratitude story. So 
here's what you want to write. I wrote them down. So this is my, not my gratitude journal. It's my gratitude journal where I write new things that I learn. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're going to write down eight things. Okay. So I want you to write down these words. So number one is home. Number two is health. Number three is love. Number four is friends slash community. Number five is career slash creative. Number six is financial. Number seven is travel. And number eight is spirituality. Spirituality. And if you think of any more, you can definitely write these down and I'll kind of tell you exactly how you're going to take these eight things or maybe there's only five things that, that relate to you. Maybe there's only three, whatever. So I'm going to show, I'm going to tell you exactly now what do you do with these things. So again, if you're watching the replay or if you're watching this live, just make sure you go back and watch the replay. So where are we? We are at six minutes. So go back to maybe, I don't know, five minutes. Scroll back to five minutes so you can write these down. So write those down on a paper, piece of paper, or in this journal on the front page. Take your journal, your notebook, plain notebook. Don't spend a fortune, spend a dollar at the dollar store, whatever it is, or if you want a fancy one, whatever. And then I want you to start writing your story. So these headings that I just, or subjects that I just said, those are subjects to get you to start thinking. So for example, home. So um, what do you want your house to look like? Maybe you live in the perfect house right now and if you do, then there's nothing you wanna change or maybe there you love your house right now but you wanna, you wanna renovate it or you wanna make your washroom bigger or you're put in hardwood or build an extension, I don't know. Maybe you want to eventually put in a pool or something in your house. If you already, you know, love where you are and you that's where you want to stay, that's where you see your, yourself staying within the next five, ten years, then um, I want you to write about what, you know, what it looks like, if there's any updates. If that's, if you want something more, then I want you to think of stuff within the next five to ten years where you're going to be. And so if you want another house, then I want you to write, what your house looks like, how many bedrooms it is, what's the square footage, just approximately, you know, what it what it feels like when you walk in the door. I want you to really like take a minute, take half an hour and just really think exactly what you want so you kind of feel it and you're like, yes, that's what you want. The, first, the one thing that you need to do is get it out of your mind how you're gonna get there. It doesn't matter how you're gonna get there. It doesn't matter that you can't afford these things now you just need to write it down and feel it and I'll explain later, okay? So your home, just be as specific as you as you can be. Your health, you know, where are you gonna be, how you're gonna feel, your love. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe you haven't found true love. I want you to explain that um, um, you know, that you have found the love of your life and that you're living your best life and that your kids and you have the best relationships or maybe you're in your shitty marriage. Explain how, um, you know, you're thankful that you got out of that shitty marriage and that you have found the love of your life, whatever it is that you see, right? The thing you want to remember is everything that you write, you write in the present tense, right? So you write in the future tense. It's this, this stuff has already happened to you, right? It's not, I want to find the love of my life. It is, I've, I'm, I'm, I found the love of my life. We do this together, you know, whatever. Um, I'm so grateful that I'm living in my, in my dream home, my dream home. Um, I'm so, I'm so grateful that I'm living in my dream home. It has six bed, it has five bedrooms, it has hardwood floors, I walk into the kitchen and it's, you know, it's so grand, I love it. The cabinets are white like I always wanted, um, the faucets are, are perfect, I picked everything out from the chandelier or the lights or whatever, whatever it is, okay? Um, then the next one is friends and community. So just talk about the, 
it's pretty much like the people that you're surrounded you that are surrounding you so if you have any negative people that are surrounding you right now get them the hell out of there right we don't need negativity in our life and um, just start to talk about how everyone in your life is so positive that you love hanging around certain people whether you actually say certain people or it's you name people that you maybe you want to hang around um, uh, the community so it's kind of like friends and community are the same so maybe it's you know that you live in this community filled with amazing uplifting people or blah 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 the next one is career or creative so if you love your job then 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 write about how you love your job write about how you love your job and that you're so grateful for it you're so grateful that you know that you have a job that you're bringing in this amount of money um if you don't like your job then think what what job would you love to do or what would you love to do write about that i'm so grateful that I have, I'm in a job that I love, that I'm earning $75,000 a year, that has amazing benefits, that um, I love that, you know, um, I don't know, receiving a paycheck every two weeks from the job of my dreams, insert the job of your dreams, don't put the job of your dreams, um, that I'm in, I'm, I'm eternally grateful for it, I love the people that I work with, I love my manager, um, we get along so well, like literally zone in on exactly what you want to do. If you want to change jobs, do the job. If you want to work for yourself, explain that. Explain if you want to work for yourself that the freedom that you have, that you're able to uh, get up every day and make your own schedule and that, that you're so grateful for that and that you're earning such so much a year in, okay? So explain exactly what you want to do. Next one is financial. So here's a very, very important thing is that, you know, everyone is in debt, right? Not everybody, but probably, I don't know, 99%. You either have a mortgage, you have a credit card bill, you have a car payment that, you know, that you're making or something. So the one thing that you don't want to do or say is, I am grateful I am debt free because all the universe hears is the word debt. So you want to exchange um, you want to exchange, sorry, you want to exchange the word debt to financial, financially. So I am so grateful that I am financially free, that my credit card statements all have a zero balance, not that my debt is all paid. Because remember, you, you have to take those like negative words out and debt is a, ne is, is a negative word, right? It's a negative word. So so, so, so important. So when I say that, um, like one of mine is that I want to be, um, obviously debt free. So it's, I want to be financially free and I want to have a zero balance on the title of my home instead of, um, I am, I want to be mortgage free because mortgage is, is debt, right? It's another word for debt. You have a mortgage that is a debt. Okay. Does that make sense? So just be careful when you're writing that down or even when you're thinking about it that you just kind of be like, okay, how can I say this positively, right? How can I say it positively? I want, I, I'm so grateful that all my credit card statements are at zero or that all of my utility statements instead of utility bills, all of my utility statements are paid on time. Does that make sense? Um, okay, then the next one is travel. So where do you want to go? Where do you want to travel in life? Write that, write that. I'm so grateful that I've traveled to Portugal, Colombia, um, <clears throat> anywhere where, where you want to go that I'm so grateful that I get to go see my family three times a year or once a year in Calgary or wherever it is that you want to go. Make sure that you talk about the places that you want to travel and kind of, um, kind of be as, um, as detailed as possible. And then the last is spirituality, spirituality, um, which is you decide, you know, it's probably an optional, an optional for some of us. So you decide where you want to be spirituality, right? Or spiritual. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense, but you know what I mean? So you decide if that's something that you want to work on or you want to change or something else, then, then you, you know what to do for there. 
So there's one, two, three, so there's six, seven, eight. So there's eight, there's gonna be seven for most of you, eight for some of you, and maybe there's, you know, I don't know, maybe you wanna focus on three. So go back to the five minute mark where I, where I said all five, or I said all eight of them. So rewind back to five minutes, write those down, and then start with one. Get out your notebook, start writing with the one, and it will just continually, it, honestly, it'll continually flow. All right, so now what do you do with this notebook? So you want to remember everything is present tense like you already have it. Everything is present tense already like you have it. Make sure that they're all positive words like remember the debt. Make sure that it's you know financially free instead of debt free. Um, and then all you're going to do is I want you to write the date at the top that you start so you know exactly kind of when you started and you can track it and then I want you to keep this somewhere by your bed or somewhere that you're gonna read it every single day keep it at wherever and every day for one year read it so for 365 days read it I want you just to read it it's gonna take you probably five minutes to read it every day excuse me so this sits on my um, night table and every day it sits with my gratitude journal. So I put it, so my gratitude journal, which if you don't have a gratitude journal, you need to get one. So this is my gratitude journal. It's been, it's, it's actually pretty big that it's been going April, 2017. So if this journal is gonna give me probably three years of journaling in it. Anyways, I literally just put it inside. So when I open up my gratitude journal, this is there, I write in my gratitude journal, and then I read this, which is, it takes me three, five minutes to read it. Every day for 365 days a year. When you're done reading it, after exactly one year, go put it away in a drawer somewhere, and then um, take it out every so often and see what has come true. It's worked for me, it has worked for so many others, um, and it's, something that I truly believe in. It took me a long time to believe in this stuff. You know what I mean? Some of it was just so, I don't know, just like so far-fetched that I was like, I'm not even gonna try it. Like, like what, what's the purpose? Like, it's not gonna work. If I want something to work, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out and freaking do it, right? I don't, you know? And then at one point I was like, success leaves clues which means all of these people who are already having success in life, not just business, they were having success in life and business. I was like, how are they having all of the success? And this whole kind of energy manifesting, believing, just all of this stuff, they were, it was, that was the one thing that they were all doing. So I thought, all right, let's get on board. Let's try it. Let's just, kind of narrow out like all of our, my feelings towards it, whether, you know, it worked or not. And all of a sudden it started to work. So I have been practicing this probably for looking at my vision board now, seeing some things that I took off. I don't know, probably three years, maybe two, three years, but I probably just got into it like really, really, really believing the last year and a half to two years. Fucking amazing people. Ah. Uh, amazing amazing it works so that's it that's all i wanted to share with you don't forget share this video bottom left hand corner click share comment shared when you have shared so i can thank you plus you'll be entered into win the draw and even if you don't need this there could be somebody in your life that does so that's it i hope you have a great monday if it is if you're in canada um um happy civic holiday <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying your day off and uh I'll talk to you guys later.